Hello and welcome to this week's Top Tip Tuesday where we are going to be talking about should you put your prices on your website or not? Hmm, I wonder. Okay, so welcome to Top Tip Tuesday. As you know, my name is Jodes and you are in the Lifestyle Business Builder Program. Guess what? The Lifestyle Business Builder Program is officially over, but it's not really over. It's actually being reborn. So no more will we sell the Lifestyle Business Builder Program. What we are now going to be uh, promoting as of later this month is the Lifestyle Entrepreneurs Academy. And you, as original members of the Lifestyle Business Builder Program, get access to all of the rebirthing of the cool new stuff that we are creating. So I'm really excited to be able to share that with you. I wanted to spend today's top tip talking about a question that came from Michelle Lewis in our free group, The Coaching Arena for Lifestyle Entrepreneurs. And it's a really great question and it's a question that I get asked a lot. Should I go public with my prices? And what she means by that, let me just speak to you over here, actually, I've got too many windows going on everywhere. What she means by that is as she builds her landing page for her program or her, her website for her program, should she put her prices on there or leave it and have people inquire? Hmm, it's such a good question and the reality is, there's no right or wrong answer. I would say it depends. And so let's consider the differences between the two and then maybe having thought about these two differences, it can make you or it can help you make your own choice. The other thing uh, to be important to, that is important to know is testing is always required. So I recommend that you test both and see what works best. So let's talk about no prices, shall we? And I do think this is a great option if you are brand new to the marketplace and you are just starting out and your number one objective is to catch leads. Because when you're brand new and you're just starting out, you're, you're okay with people inquiring. In fact, you want people to inquire and book a chat with you. It's very unlikely when you are brand new that anyone's going to land on your website. It's funny, some people, you know, they build their new Facebook page or they build their new um, website page and they get very worried about pressing pub publish because it's not perfect yet. And it's like, don't worry, no one's going to see it. It's not like the moment you press publish, crap loads of traffic is just going to land on your page. I wish if only that happened, that would be a great problem to have. But let's say you're brand new in the market, you get very, very little traffic and the traffic is basically hits to your website. The traffic that arrives is curious and they want to know more, but they may not be ready to buy. And so what we want to have is your program listed with all of the cool stuff and then maybe a freebie or a book a chat button where you can help them qualify to see if they are right for the program. If it's a super cheap thing like a $7 or a $50 thing, then maybe you'll just have a buy now and it's $50 or $7. But when I talk about programs, we help people build high value programs. So chances are your program is going to be like $750, $3,000, $5,000. Sorry, I've got a fly in here flying around. It's driving me crazy. Um, and so... When you're starting out, I like the idea of testing with your prices hidden, but all the value stack there, boom, you get this, boom, you get that, boom, you get that, and you make it still present it as an irresistible offer, and then you have a button that says apply now or book a chat. Look at that fly, it's driving me crazy. He's been in here for like two days. I don't know why I assume he's a boy, but... I don't know, he's annoying or she. So you'll have a button that will say book a chat where you'll get on a 30-minute or a 15-minute sort of strategy session and you'll qualify them and hopefully convert them into your program. 
or you'll have an apply now button which could go to a form like a Google form where you'll ask some qualifying questions and find out if they're right and then that way at least put them into your email nurture sequence to go into the program and in that email nurture sequence you might strike up a conversation and get them to book a chat with you or you can be more assertive and literally get straight on to the phone or the email and say thanks so much for your interest in the program um, let me ask you a few questions so you can take the lead and drive that conversation. The benefits of that is you will catch more leads. People are curious, they want to know what it costs, so they'll probably type in uh, apply now or book a chat if they're genuinely interested. So that can be okay. I would also recommend having a freebie or a giveaway on your web page or on your landing page right at the bottom. So when we uh, studied the story brand concept, we have a direct call to action, which is your buy now, book a chat, uh, enroll now, apply now button. Your direct call to action is always assertive and bold. You can also have a transitional call to action. And the transitional call to action is after they've gone through all of the sections of your website and they've overpassed all of the apply now, apply now, apply now buttons or the book a chat, book a chat, hot tip, same button, apply now, apply now, apply now, book a chat, book a chat, book a chat. Do not do apply now, book a chat, inquire, learn more, like no, do not do a different name on every single button. Every CTA, CTA, CTA stands for call to action button, should have the same direct, bold message. You do not, you do not want to have learn more because it's too wishy-washy. You want to get them to do something, to take action. So that's your direct call to action, your CTA. At the bottom of your landing page, you can have what's called a transitional call to action, which means if they've passed all those buttons and they're like, yeah, I'm not ready to be bold and take that kind of action, they could opt in to get something free. So download the free guide that'll help you do all this cool stuff. Oh, look, we got someone. Ah, hey, hey, Gabby, how are you? Love a good CTA, so do I. Let's make that a bit bigger, actually. I'm just playing around with some new settings in the Ecamm uh, thing. So all my um, pop-ups are not fully designed, but that look, does that doesn't look too bad. Anyway, thanks for watching, Gabby, and uh, love a good CTA. You can have the direct call to action, transitional call to action, a bit more soft, a bit more assertive, dangle the carrot. We call it the lollipop here. Give them some sugar, get them addicted to who you are and what you do and let's see what happens from there. Then they'll hopefully fall into your funnel. You'll have an awesome email nurture sequence, email sales sequence that's going to lead them to want to take action. So if you are not putting your prices on your website, if you're not going public with your prices, your strategy is to get them to either apply by filling out a form or book a chat by booking a time in your di diary with your appointment setter to actually go into an application or conversion call. That's great for capturing leads. However, and it's good when you're starting out, like I honestly think it's a great place to test the market. Once you're up and running and once you get to the point where you go, you know what, I'm so sick of all these bloody tyre kickers and people that want everything for free, because trust me, there's a lot of them out there, and you're starting to become fully booked, which happens when you do the right things, it's pretty exciting. Once you get to that point, you think, you know what, I just want to tell them how much it is, and if they're not interested, they're not interested. So that can be a very beneficial thing. If your program is somewhere between 500 and maybe 5,000, Stick it on there and see, and you might even have some options. So for our seven steps to six figures, for example, we've got all the value stack of all the cool things that are in there, and then the price at the bottom, $1,500 or four payments of 400 or something like that. And so the idea of that is it's a strong sales page and the sales page is designed to get people to buy from that. And we've tested that sales page and it works very well, which is fantastic.
when we drive traffic to it. So if you have a program that's under the $5,000 mark, then absolutely just driving traffic to it and having the copy so well written that the price is there or having a strategy where you go, I, I don't want tyre kickers, I only want people who know the price and who are ready to invest, then that can be an awesome strategy. When we first started at The 7 Effect, I was fully committed to only doing that because I used to get really frustrated trying to find the prices for things. And I was like, geez, it's annoying that people keep their prices hidden. I'm all about transparency. And I hate little trips and traps and things that catch you out. And I didn't want to have to opt into everybody's application or buy now or apply now. I just wanted to know how much it costs. So again, right from the get-go, there's people like me who will prefer you to just put your prices on the, on the um, landing page and they will just buy it or not. The only downside of that is you don't capture a potential lead and people aren't as likely to make a snap decision to buy as they are to make a decision to at least inquire. So once you're established and once you have a funnel that leads people to your buy now page and they know you and they trust you and they like you, then absolutely prices on there can be really fantastic. The other thing that I would say is once you are a more significant business, for example, if I use the Mind Academy, which is where I studied to do the Diploma of Modern Psychology with Alastair Horscroft, they have a download the brochure um, thing. And in his brochure, they have the pricing model. So what this is a very clever strategy. Now, this is a it's somewhere between a twelve and $15,000 program. So it's a significant investment. It's a diploma in modern psychology. It's from a very uh, reputable business and establishment. Um, they've got a great reputation, a great following. They get a lot of word of mouth, et cetera, et cetera. So what I love about their solution is they have download the brochure and see what's inside the diploma of... Um, modern psychology. You put your email address in and you basically catch the brochure, they'll send it to you and in the brochure it maps out all of the modules, the investment, the payment plans and it's kind of fairly rigorous document that you then look at a hundred times if you're like me and put it on your vision board and go one day I'm going to get my $15,000 together and I'm going to go do that program. So that works really well as well. It's kind of that space in the middle download the brochure, the brochure has the prices in it. Another option, which is from someone else that I've studied uh, with, is what Taki Moore does. So Taki Moore is the creator of Black Belt, which is an amazing um, inner circle kind of coaching intensive. It's expensive, it's high performance, it's freaking amazing. I did it for a year. And I did evolve and grow my business. But the one thing that I learned from doing Black Belt is I ain't got time to learn how to do more stuff. I've got to stop paying money to learn. I've got to start paying people to do. So I left Black Belt after a year, but I learned some amazing things and it was great for my business. I love Taki Moore. And what he does on his Black Belt uh, page is he actually lists all the stuff of this is who it's for, this is who it's not for. And he says specifically, this program costs money. So if you are not ready to invest, because it's expensive, it's like two and a half grand a month or something like that, and you, you have to commit to at least 12 months. So what's that? I don't know, $30,000, 12 times two and a half. It's about 30 grand, I reckon. So you've got to be fully committed. And the other thing you need to know is there's no lifetime access or ongoing access to any of the content. It's just you're in. And when you stop paying, you're out. Um, so he's very clear to say this costs money and it's only for you if you're ready to invest. If you are, apply now for one of the limited spaces in Black Belt. So he really creates exclusivity around his. When we relaunch the Lifestyle Entrepreneurs Academy, that is 100% the path that we will be going down. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about taking a bit from the Mind Academy, having a beautiful brochure 
that people can download and see all of the curriculum because it's an epic curriculum that we've created, all the structure around it. Then it can have the pricing and then it can have the payment plans, but we can also have that apply now um, space uh, where people can apply knowing that it's a significant investment and that it comes with lifetime support and a 100% guaranteed to get you there kind of deal. So that's me for today's Top Tip Tuesday. Do you make your prices public, yes or no? The answer depends. And I would say, as annoying as this is, you kind of got to test it. You kind of got to test it. But in the first instances, I do think it's a great idea to go for the leads. You want to get, you know, get your first 100 people on your email list and let's build from there. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for tuning in live for those of you that, uh, those of you that did. If you are watching on YouTube, watching the replay, um, and you want more top tips like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up if you liked this, and watch this space because as we give our programs a makeover, our YouTube channel is getting a makeover as well. And we're going to be setting up some playlists for you where we'll have a playlist all around Love Your Life. And that's essentially term one of the Lifestyle Entrepreneurs Academy. Our entire curriculum is about designing the life of your dreams and going deep into the seven elements of life so you can really position yourself as a public profile with a life in your industry. That's going to be term one of the Lifestyle Entrepreneurs Academy, Love Your Life. And so on that playlist in our YouTube channel, we'll have all sorts of things around the seven elements of life and tips on how to live a healthy, wealthy, happy, wise life. It's all about fun and freedom and family and friends, the F stuff. The second playlist we'll have is Lead Your Movement. And this is all about positioning you as the go-to expert. So we'll have a whole bunch of videos and tips and tricks around being at the top of the hierarchy of value, becoming the go-to expert and being fully booked as a leader, as an influencer, as a visionary. And we'll, of course, teach you the seven elements of leadership. That's actually uh, term two of the Lifestyle Entrepreneurs Academy. In term two we go deep with our students into actually getting that done so that by the end of term two, you have a following, you have your brand strategy really clear and you know exactly who you are and what you stand for. And more importantly, so do your followers, which is pretty cool. Then we'll have a playlist around um, launch your business. We, may, we mainly work with startups and it's all about going, okay, how do I get into the market? How do I go from zero to six figures? In my first year, it's very doable. We help clients get there all the time. I love doing this with our clients. And so in the Lee, uh, Launch Your Business playlist, we'll of course talk about the seven elements of lifestyle business and give you tips and tricks that will help you grow your business. And of course, that's what term three of the Lifestyle Entrepreneurs Academy is all about. We're also going to have a playlist there with uh, our podcast. You could start a business doing that. And finally, just a playlist called Your Questions Answered. So watch this space. That is all coming here on our YouTube channel if you're watching the replay. If you are watching this live in um, our LBB Mastermind, jump over to YouTube and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, that's it from me. Have a beautiful afternoon. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.